Hi there, I'm Paula and this is my lab. In this video I'm gonna talk about the design of the neck for my humanoid robot project. I've gone through several iterations for the design of the neck, um, but I think I now have a version that I'm okay with. I have some uh, 3D printed parts and then uh, using three servos. I'll give you an overview of the process and also in this video I would like to show you um, some of the progress I've made in terms of the communication between the Arduino that I'm using and the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi will be the brain of the robot and the Arduino will be um, the part that controls uh, all the motors in the robot. So I have some components here that I would like to use for the neck of the robot. I have uh, three servos. One will be used for rotation and the other two from side to side and up front movement of the neck. And this will be the main rod. This part here uh, will be inserted in the skull and this part here would be the lower part of the neck, which will be inserted right here. So I have some 3D printed parts and the way that this goes is that the servo will put be like this and in between these two I will have a lazy susan plate so that will rotate this but first I will uh, strengthen a bit uh, some of the areas that will likely be under a bit more pressure so I will do that and then start assembling We're gonna use one of these servo horns, like a star shape, and this piece, and uh, put it like this, so it matches up. Then the servo will go this way. It needs to be mounted like this. I probably have to cut a bit of this. I'm going to use my servo calibrator, I made a separate video about this, to test the servo movement to see that it's um, correctly uh, set at uh, 90 degrees. So that seems to be the maximum on that side. This looks good. So I've now put this part here locked it in place and I added this one. It's not screwed in yet but it will provide some additional support. Now this part should come like this over here. So I will now uh, put this in place basically by screwing this and putting some screws in there. And so just a few more screws to put in and lock this in and I think then we're we're good. So I'll just move into position so I can access those.
the servos and the rods towards the end of the neck. So the Arduino code, what it actually does is it checks for serial input. Basically this will be the information coming in from, um, from the Raspberry Pi. And uh, when data is received, it tries to transform that to an integer. And then uh, I have a function here called move servo2, which basically um, maps uh, the number of degrees which are, is expected to be between 0 and 180 into pulse length and then sets that uh, for the servo. So it's pretty simple and in this case I only have one servo connected but it can be scaled to multiple servos uh, where also the uh, servo number is sent uh, from the Raspberry Pi to Arduino processed here and the corresponding servo can be moved. On the Raspberry Pi side it's again very simple and we select the correct device on serial, namely the Arduino, and the correct uh, baud rate, uh, the same as we selected in the Arduino code. And then uh, basically we, we loop, in this case, uh, just by sending some a random um, number of degrees, and then we are reading what the Arduino sends back. Um, and in this case, it will send back um, the pulse length for which the number of degrees has been mapped to. And this is it. Basically, we're generating some random integers uh, between 10 degrees and 170 degrees, and this will move the neck accordingly. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more.